Hi! All right, so this is our custom-made exercise regime that we came up with yesterday. So I'm gonna go through the whole series that we did yesterday in our practice. And if you have any questions, uh, obviously just text me. All right, here we go. So the first one we did, I wrote it all down, so I'm gonna go over the steps. The first one we did was the band, using it um, around the feet. And you're gonna come down onto the elbows like this. And just relax your neck, all right? You can look straight forward or look up. For me, looking straight forward at my toes is fine. So take a deep inhale to prep. Exhale, open the legs and switch. Bend the opposite knee and extend the leg that was bent initially. So inhale, open, exhale, bend the opposing knee. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. So that's basically for your quads. The next exercise um, we worked on was the seesaw, dropping the block and pivoting, and lifting the back leg up. So let me show you that one. So we have the block, take the left hand on the hip, Bring the right knee up, find your balance, square the hips. Bring the right hand forward, and when you're ready, pivot. Seesaw, so pivot forward, keep the hips square, drop the block slowly on the floor, back leg is extended, and slowly rise up and keep it balanced. Keep going, inhale. As you slowly exhale, lean forward, maintain your balance. And one more. So you're going to just start with five on each side. Okay? All right. So the next one on the list is standing on one leg, tuck your knee, and then the other. Okay. So here, let's do this one. <clears throat> down, open the chest, and inhale to prep, exhale, lift, and release, straighten, and release, lift, and release, straighten the knee up, and release. So five of these, you want to try to reach the block as best you can, all right? Now, that's without the band. Feeling strong, you can place the band on you. I'll do it on the other side with the band so you can see what difference that makes. It's a huge difference. It definitely works your hip flexors as well as your quads, specifically rectus femoris, okay? Here we go. Balance on the opposing leg and lift, straighten. So there's a lot more resistance. Lift, straighten. Lift, straighten, okay? So those are the first three. So to review, the first one was using the band bicycle on the elbows. Second one was seesaw, dropping the block. Third one was standing, placing the block in front, tuck the knee up and then extend the leg up. Tuck the knee up and then extend the leg up. Okay, so now we're gonna do number four, which we went over. You're going to go on all fours, and you can keep the uh, band on if you want. It's a lot harder. So let me show you what this looks like. It's a series that I come up with. Come on, all four. The first one is lifting the coffee cup. So no donkey kick out. It's straight up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do the fire hydrant, bring the knee back, aligned with the left, and now that right knee goes out 90 degrees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the hips square, and then rotate forwards 10, and then you're gonna rotate backwards 10. 
Okay, and then you repeat it on the other side. So bring this left leg up. Notice my left knee is bent 90 degrees. My hips are square, okay? And what am I doing here? I'm keeping that foot straight up. So my plantar aspect of the foot goes straight up to the ceiling and not out. So straight up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring that left knee aligned with the right. Straight out 90 degrees, and it's a lot harder with the band. So 10 of these. And after that, you just do 10 rotations forward, and then 10 rotations backward, okay? And that is gonna be working your glutes. Um, so we started off with some simple exercises working the quads, this one moves to the glutes. Okay, <clears throat> the next one is the side leg series. This works the glutes as well as the thighs. Side leg series, start off with on the left side, left elbow down, tummy in so there's one long line, no arching the back, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend the knee, have that knee facing the ceiling, lift up, point the toe, and then flex down, okay? So you can place the hand on the floor, or you can place the hand on the hip. I prefer on the floor, I get more balance. So 10 of these. Inhale, exhale. Okay, after you do those 10, you're gonna do what's called clamshell. So you're gonna lift the heels up, line up the heels with the buttocks, tummy in, no arching, no piking. Okay, so my knees are lined up with the hips, one long line and my heels are lined up with my buttocks. Open the shell, close. Now the beginner level is you just open from the top. Intermediate, you actually lift the, the bottom leg down. Okay, so start off like this and just open the top one, it's easier. Top leg. Okay, 10 of those. And then you're gonna lift that top leg up. Now see what I just did this? This is no good for your shoulder, okay? So make sure your shoulder, engage your deltoid muscle, and your elbow is lined up with the shoulder, tummy in. Okay, leg is up. Have the bottom leg meet the top leg. So 10 of these, okay? And then the last thing to do is scissors. In scissors, you lift both legs up and move forward and back, little scissors, 10 of those. Okay, so you do 10, 10, 10, 10. You do it on the other side, okay? So bend the leg, point up, flex down, 10 of those, okay? Clamshell, okay? And then have the bottom leg meet the top, okay? And then scissors. So that's your side leg series. All right, moving on, we move to, extend the leg to lift the bottom up, we did. Okay, standing block or the obliques, got it, okay. So this is the next exercise in which you'll be working the oblique. So it's still a core exercise. You don't have to use weights, but if you want to get a little bit tougher, you can use weights. Start off with simple block of spine. Okay, so bring the arms up, tummy in. Notice my feet are slightly wider than the hips. Take a deep inhale to prep. Exhale, bend over to the side. You can slightly bend the knees, but really reach over. Have that block touch the ground, so you're working these obliques on both sides. And now you gotta lift up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And as you get better, you probably don't have to bend the knees so much, because you can reach over, you get more flexible. So it's a flexibility as well as a strength, which I love because you're really lengthening the muscle. So it's isotonic contraction, lengthening and moving, contracting as well. Okay. So that's for the obliques. The saw is the next one. You can sit on your blocks. It's actually easier. I'm going to show you both ways, forward and profile, so you can see my body. Your feet should be flexed. The width of the lower extremity should be, here's the hips, slightly wider. Not a strap, tummy in, 
Shoulders down, lengthen the neck. Arms out, scarecrow. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, imagine someone punching you in the belly. Scoop hollow and round that back. Lean back as far as you can, shoulders down. Twist and saw that leg, pulse, pulse, and up. Back nice and straight, exhale, scoop hollow and round that back, and pulse, pulse, saw that left leg, inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. So what does this work? This works the abdominals and the obliques. Inhale, exhale. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the side so you can see exactly what that looks like. I want you to see how my upper body has a C-shaped spine, but it's not crunching the shoulders and it's not hollowing out my upper back. It's really scooping from the belly, pulling that belly in, the action of pulling the abdominal muscles in, pulling and contracting. That's the hard part of this exercise. So here we go, back nice and straight. Arms are out, horizontal, scarecrow arms. Now imagine someone's punching me and pull, scoop, hollow, and round that belly. C-spine, okay? Twist, you see how I'm leaning over? And pulse, pulse. Inhale up, exhale, scoop, hollow, and round that lower back. Pulse, pulse. And the better you get at this, the more you can twist. You want this arm as far out as possible past your thigh. Okay? All right, so that's the saw. That's exercise number nine, if you were counting. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the scapula squeeze. So we worked on the quad. So this is a mini, mini, mini workout. We worked on the quads, we worked on the glutes, we worked on the abs. Now I'm going to show you an easy exercise to strengthen your scapula muscles. So notice what I'm doing, I'm squeezing the scapula muscles, okay? So squeezing the rhomboids, okay? Squeezing the traps, trapezius. Keep the elbows horizontal, transverse plane, and draw those elbows close to each other. And back. So what does this look like? Like this. Inhale. Exhale. Now the scapula uh, squeeze can be utilized using weights, or you can even use a block, which basically weighs less than two pounds, okay? How do you wanna hold it? Pretty much like this and squeeze back, okay? Clearly you can use weights, three pound, five pound. Okay, so inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale. And what is this good for? Posture, so you stand nice and straight, work your deltoids, and work your upper back muscles, okay? All right, the next one is cactus arms. This works your deltoid, your rotator cuff muscles, the tendons there. So cactus arms, just like this. Tummy in, pull the pelvic floor in, navel to the spine, take a deep breath. Exhale, drop those palms down and back, posterior. So the fingertips are facing the ground, shoulders are down and away from the ears, and then come back up. Clearly, you could do this with weights as well. First, I'm showing you without any weights. Inhale to prep, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So 10 of those. So 10 of the scapula squeeze, 10 cactus, and then dumb waiter. So this one is specifically for posture. I'm gonna go in profile. Here's your triangle. Index fingers together, thumbs together, create the triangle. Your index fingers touch the pelvic floor, okay? Pubic bone, pelvic floor lifted in and up. So now, all of a sudden, as I do this, watch. I pull it in. My back is nice and straight. There's no excessive arch in my lower back. And the navel is to the spine, so all of my core is nice and engaged. Elbows hugging the body, shoulders down, open heart, open chest. Inhale to prep, exhale, open. Inhale, exhale. Now let me do it facing you so you can see. If you use weights, it's even better. Start off as a beginner, start off without any weights, just get the 
uh, alignment proper. So really good form goes a long way to not injuring yourself when you exercise. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay? So that would be um, the <clears throat> dumb waiter. The next one is uh, scarecrow lift weights to scare. Okay, so we did scarecrow already um, before. So this, this was done before in our practice. Uh, we did just now um, scapula squeeze, we did cactus, right, and we did dumb waiter. Now this one is scarecrow. You can use a weight so you're just doing this, okay? And you can even, if you want to work the quads at the same time and use weights, you can plie all the way down, scarecrow arms, and then come back. Keep your elbows slightly bent. You see how I'm doing this? Okay? So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now if you have knee issues, clearly you don't do the plie and you're just going to uh, do the scarecrow arms with the weights. Okay, the next one is an easy core exercise without hurting your back. If anyone has back issues, this is perfect. So this is both with toe tap. So everyone knows in yoga, this is called Navasana, with the knees bent or straight, and letting go. So this is full boat pose Navasana. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a beginner level, bend the knees, okay, and you're gonna toe tap. Keep the back nice and straight, support the back, don't lean back too far, then you fall back, okay? Find that ischial tuberosity, that sitting bone, Tummy in, back nice and straight, lift the knees up 90 degrees, arms out, inhale to prep, exhale, toe tap, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay? And then you take a variation of that, boat pose again, but with Russian twist prayer position, okay? and toe tapping is optional. So first I'm gonna do um, the boat with the Russian twist prayer position, and then I'm gonna do both Russian twist with toe tapping. Okay, so let me show you that. Knees are bent 90 degrees, palms together, prayer position, and open the prayer and bring it down and come back. Open the prayer, bring it down, and then come back to the center. So twist, drop, come back. Twist, drop, come back to prayer. Inhale to prep, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, the variation, once you get good at this, because it works the hip flexors, the abs, and the obliques, you can toe tap. Alternate leg and hand. Left leg to the right, turn. Turn to the left, left, right leg down. Okay, turn to the right, left leg down. Turn to the left, right leg down. Turn to the right, left leg down. Keep going. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And you'll feel that nice and deep in the abs. Okay, and then the next one, uh, this is a nice easy one. Lay on the back, okay? Arms are gonna be overhead, your feet are holding the block. Just like this, tummy in. And you don't have to lift the body up at all. Upper body stays stationary, head is on the ground. Lift, touch the block, and then come down. This works the abs, this is great. You're not hurting your back, you're not hurting your neck coming up. A lot of the Pilates exercises can hurt your neck simply because you have to do this and this, okay? If you have neck issues, this is no good, okay? So this is the variation that we can do. Still work these muscles without hurting the neck or coming up and hurting the back. Here we go, inhale, exhale.
okay? So those are a few exercises, and I think that's pretty much all I wanted to go over today. I hope this video helps you, and hopefully it helps other people as well. All right, bye.